Hey everyone, welcome to part 4 of Remaking Finance at Freddy's, and in this video, I'm going to be making the universal mechanics. So to recap what I made in the last video, I did the animatronics AI, Bonnie, Freddy, Chica, and Foxy. And right now, they're pretty busy because I got them all set to 20 AI. Chica's already right by my door, so I think Bonnie's already in my office right now. Now before I actually begin this video, I'm just going to add in a few like random stuff. First of all, someone told me that the light sound should also be flickering. That should be an easy fix. Now listen to the flickering light sound. Okay, and also someone told me that when they jam your door, it doesn't just block the door button, but it also is supposed to block the light button. Okay, that should be done. So if I stare at them with the light for too long, then the light should turn off. And now I'm not able to use any of the left door controls. And Chica should do the same. Come on Chica, where are you? A few moments later. Okay, I'm tired of waiting, where are you? Oh, Chica's all, all the way by the restrooms, really? I'm just gonna assume that it works. Okay, it's time to make the power system. Here's some UI that I came up with yesterday. Well, copied. It includes the time and the power. I'm not going to do the time right now. So I got the usage bar, which includes all four or five levels of usage. And I got the power meter. And I didn't bother using separate images for each digit, so I just used like a text label so I can like easily change it. Let's just see how it looks in game. It should be good. Yep. At least I think it's good. Do you think it's good? Yeah, I think it's good. So now the usage meter works. Right now the usage is 1 when there's nothing being used. But if I turn on a light, then the bar goes up. If I close a door, then the bar goes up again. And I can close both doors. And also the camera will give you a bar. Except it turns off the lights. So yeah, the maximum is like 4. Oh, there's Foxy coming down. So I think I got the power working now, and it's surprisingly simple. All you gotta do is just every one second, it subtracts the usage from the power. And by the way, the actual power is 999, but the power displayed on screen is just like, divided by 10. So if I close all the doors and everything, the power starts going down. Now the power actually drains faster depending what night you're on, so I think it's uh, about time to add the night system. The game is called Five Nights at Freddy's, so I made the At Freddy's part, but I didn't make the Five Nights. So I just changed up the main menu a bit to include these more buttons in this indicator that shows what night you're on. And all these buttons seem to be working. Now obviously, if you're on the first night, then these two buttons won't show up. So, since I'm on the first night right now, those buttons are going, and this text should only appear when you hover over the continue button. Now you can't progress the night unless you make it to 6am, so time to go back to the office and make the timer system. I mean the clock system. So it's pretty weird with 12am being 90 seconds, and then 1am to 6am being 89 seconds. Now real quick, I'm just going to set the wait time to 1 so we can see the timer changing. Watch this, it's gonna, yeah, oh, let me just add AM, and now it should work. By the way, Five Nights at Freddy's is what taught me that the middle of the night is 12 AM and not 12 PM. But there is a problem. So Click Team has a special feature called Scene Transitions. So once it reaches 6 AM, you can see the scene, like, it slowly faded into 6 a.m. But 6 a.m. is actually... Where is it? Yeah, it's actually on another scene. So I'm going to have to, like... I think I'm going to have to make the 6 a.m. screen on the same scene as this. So I spent, like, forever trying to figure it out. But then I just realized that I could take a screenshot and then use that on the 6 a.m. screen. Oh, I can just... I could just take a screenshot. Let me just fix up all this junk I was doing. And instead of fading the entire 6 a.m. screen, I just fade the screenshot. Let's see it. The new and improved 6 a.m. screen. 
Yes! The power of screenshotting. Now the 6 a.m. screen should fade out and then switch to the title screen. Oh, also there's gonna be kids cheering. Yay! And fade out. There's the title screen, frozen. Now the current night in the game should be saved to your save file. In this little file right here, it's encoded so I can't edit it. Right now I have the night number set to 1, so when I go to the menu, the it should be uh, pointing at the new game button. And yes, it says night 1. Now I set the night to 2, so the arrow is now pointing at the continue button. And it says night 2. And if I set it to night 6, then the 6 night button appears. And if it's night 7, then it will show the custom night button. Now, uh, the continue button shouldn't say night 7, it should just stop at night 5. I think I fixed it now. The continue button, yeah, it says night 5, but it's actually like night 7. So now the game loop should be complete. I start the game on night 1, click continue. I play the night, la la la, I'm, I'm fighting the animatronics and stuff. Then it reaches 6 a.m., and then the 6 a.m. screen goes away. And now it's night 2. And I click the button, and the cycle continues. And you should have the ability to delete your save data. So if I hold the delete key for one second, then there goes all my save data. Deleting data in three, two, one. And just like that, it's all gone with just the single click of a button. And the worst part about it is that the save data is encoded, so you can't you can't cheat. Now we gotta set the difficulty for each night. So here's all of the AI levels for night one through six. So let me load into night three. And since it's night three, the animatronics are pretty slow. Well, Chica already moved. Oh wow, Chica's pretty fast. Now you may notice that on night one, they're all set to zero. But they still move on night one, so how can that be? Well, it's because later on through the night, their AI levels increase. But that's not all, because on later nights, the power will drain faster. So on night two, the power will drain by one every six seconds. On night three, it will drain by one every five seconds, and so on. Now it's time to make the power out sequence. So once the power reaches zero, then everything goes dark. And Freddy starts singing his song. There he is. I just wanted to comment on this really quick because I thought it was really weird. But once the power goes out, the office will go black immediately. But the fan has a 4 in 5 chance every 0 .05 seconds to actually disappear. I'm not going to follow his ways. I'm going to make the fan disappear immediately because that's the right thing to do. So I'm going to let the power go out. Okay, everything just turned dark. The doors didn't go away though, so I fixed it up a little bit, so now it should like lower the camera, yeah, open the, uh, okay never mind, let's just start small, okay, is, is it going to open the doors, let's see, yeah, there they go, oh, I guess Freddy's there, okay, I did a little fixing up, now it should also lower the camera once the power goes out, so... Uh, well, uh, the fan is there now. I guess the fan is so powerful that it can work with the power off. Let's give that one more try. So I have the camera open. Oop, the power's out, and everything's gone. I can't click nothing. Yay. I should be able to... Yeah, I can still hawk the nose. That's perfect. I just realized that the light bulb disappears once the power goes out. So here's how the power out sequence works. And I know this code looks really scary, and that's because it is. And I just rushed through this as quick as I could. But, believe me or not, it works. So I'm going to try to explain. So the power goes out, and every 5 seconds, there's a 20% chance for Freddy to appear and start doing his song. There he is. And now, once again, there's a 20% chance every 5 seconds for the lights to go out. Again. Because the lights are already out, but I guess it just gets more dark for some reason. And there it goes. Uh, now, the screen just turned gray. That means Freddy got me, but I didn't really make the jump scare yet. So, just pretend there was a jump scare. 
And by the way, there's a maximum of 20 seconds for each one, so you don't just sit in the uh, blackout forever. Now I added the game over screen, which is just going to wait 10 seconds with a static sound playing. And it's going to use that uh, screenshot trick from earlier to fade into the game over screen. So come on. I get it. Game over. Yeah. And now I can just copy and paste everything onto this Freddy jump scare scene. And there we go. Now we can have uh, game over. And now I'm going to get properly jump scared by Freddy. Oh wow, that was fast. Wow, that was a really fast power out. So the power out sequence is done. Also, I know that the power out sequence has footsteps playing, but that might actually be a glitch because the footstep sounds are actually coming from Bonnie and Chica because they're still moving. But I haven't added the footstep sounds yet, so that might be next video. Anyways, the last thing I'm going to do for this video is switch to the game over screen after everyone else jump scares. Now I have a death timer, so Bonnie and Chica take two thirds seconds to switch to the static screen after they jump scare you. So I guess I'm just going to let them jump scare me now. Uh oh. Let me fix the power real quick. And let's get Bonnie or Chica in here. Okay, I guess... Wait, what? Okay, there's Bonnie, finally. Ah! Oh my gosh! Why? Why did Freddy get me? Oh. Well, at least now I know that the game over screen works. Hey, did it just flicker gray for a second? Yeah, it keeps flickering gray every time I change the scene because of this await thing. Freddy is tested. Let me just turn Freddy off. Come on, you slow pokes. And... Okay, he got in. And I'm going to let him jump scare me. Yes! So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any nitpicks or ideas, just leave it in the comments. If you have any questions, I'll answer them. And next video, I might be finishing up this project. So thank you everyone who's enjoyed this series so far. And have a good day!